Hey what is up guys this is IS and welcome back to another Lightroom mobile tutorial. So today I will show you how to make your photos look better using Lightroom mobile. So just before we start subscribe if you haven't yet also turn on the bell icon and let's get started. So I have already opened the photo that I will work with. So the first thing first we will do is fix the white balance. For doing that go to light panel and then increase the temperature to add the warm tone to this photo so I'm gonna increase when it looks good I think 50 is I think 50 is perfect for this particular photo okay, now I'm gonna increase the tint just a little bit like 10 okay now the second thing we will do is fix the exposure now go to light panel and then here I will increase the exposure to increase the brightness of this photo. So I'm gonna increase it around 50, 48 is okay. Then I'm gonna leave the contrast to zero because I don't wanna add contrast to this because I will add contrast using the curve. I'm gonna bring the highlight to get back some detail from the sky and increase the shadow just a little bit like 31 now I'm gonna bring down the white okay 58 is looking pretty good also I'm gonna bring down the blacks to get back the detail in blacks area like this the one okay now we are done with this light now the third thing we will do is add contrast using curve for better, I will rotate my device to the portage. I'm gonna select the red first and then bring down the shadow just a little bit like here. Okay, I'm gonna bring up the mid tone. Now select green, then do the same thing. We will do the same thing like this, something like this S curve to all over this three curve, like green also the blue. So let me do it. Okay, it's almost same. But oh shit! As you can see, now we will do the same thing to the blue blue curve. Also increase the highlight of this blue for adding the cool tone to the highlight area as you can see I'm gonna tweak just a little bit like this and I'm gonna select the curve the light curve what they say white and increase the shadow part also add a point to the midpoint I'm gonna just tweak a little bit okay mm, like this okay and we're done with the curve okay now the fourth thing we will do is play around with the color so I'm now in now I am in the mix panel. Okay. Now I will bring down the hue of red to toward the uh, pink. Like 20. Now I'm gonna bring down the saturation also. Around 30. So now I'm focusing on the lips area as you can see, the pink. I'm gonna increase the luminance to around 60. Okay, 16, not 60. 
I select orange also I'm gonna bring down the hue to around 13 now we will increase the saturation get back the saturation in the face area like 32 also increase the luminance to around 22 it adds the glow effect to your foot to your face as you can see now select the yellow and for this image as you can see green the yellow is looking green to this area now i'm gonna bring down the hue of yellow to all the way down i think yeah and also i'm gonna bring down the saturation all the way down maybe luminance also yeah it's looking great now we'll select green and we will bring down the saturation to all the way down make sure if there is any green area that will look like black something like this we select aqua and then bring up the hue towards blue around 60 62 okay and now we're gonna increase the saturation to all the way up as you can see for a detail in the sky and luminous zero now blow select blow and then bring down the hue towards till like 53 and saturation we will increase it not too much when it's look good the stop like 40 and also increase the you know you can decrease but for this photo i'll increase the luminance to around 38 and now we are going to leave the purple and magenta color because we don't have the any color in this photo now click on done and select the effect panel and we won't touch anything from this except for the split tone for this photo as you can see the tail tone to the sky and his face is orange so we will add the orange tone to the highlight like this and we will add tail tone to the shadow because these are the complementary color Okay, as you can see you okay, now click on done oh. now we will add as you can see we will sharpen the photo and also reduce the noise because as you can see so too much noise to this image okay for doing that go to detail panel and increase the sharpening around 29 also just a little bit of masking now we are going to increase the noise reduction ok for better view let me zoom it as you can see the noise is gone also we are going to increase the details around like this okay also as here you can see the color noise similar to his face i'm gonna also increase the color noise to around maybe 50. yeah the color noise is gone now as you can see the photo is already looking pretty good the last thing we will do is use the selective tool you can see the maybe the sun is come from this right hand side from to this image to this area so we will just add a little bit of saturation 
using the selective tool like this we increase the temperature increase the white and add a little bit of color like this okay as you can see again we will go to the selective tool and this time we will use circle this circle tool thing and make sure the feather is 100 for doing that you know just select tap on this button and then bring your finger down you see the feather is increased now we will you know increase the size and tweak when is look great okay i think this is good okay, now click on that to remove that red thing now select the light and then increase the white exposure decrease the highlight and color temperature increase the temperature and add add the color like the orange thing yeah it's looking good now and the last thing you can do is you no know, his eye is not you can see his eyes so we will add you no know, we will remove the shadow from his eyes <laughs> not too much then you look like an alien like this and i'm gonna duplicate this duplicate mask and then bring me to his second eye yeah now it's looking pretty good as you can see so we have added the sun thing and the overall photo is now great now I, have, now I have another photo of this shot and second photo of this and I'm gonna click on three dot and copy settings click on done here you can see same now I'm gonna paste settings as you can see the photo is not looking good so we have to tweak a little bit as you can see the shadow area is messed up so we're gonna increase the shadow and it's looking good let's increase not more the exposure bring down the highlight all the way down and yeah now it's looking good also you can do the selective tool to remove shadow from his Yes, and then retouch the photo, add something. So yeah, that's it for this video guys. Hope you have enjoyed the video and learned something new. And if you, then don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Also turn on the bell icon. And I'll see you in the next one. Till then, take care.